China has announced a 7.2% increase of its national defense budget totaling to $249 billion this year. French media has reported that Dassault Aviation is assessing the possibility of establishing a final assembly line for the Rafale F-4 aircraft in India, to manage the increased production demands following anticipated large orders. According to media report, the Indian Army is short of 50% ATGM launchers, and 85% missiles of its total ATGM requirement. The Indian Air Force has conducted the maiden landing of a C-17 Globemaster aircraft at the Kargil airfield at 9,700 feet. Bangalore-based startup Skyber Aerospace has successfully demonstrated its multifunctional drone at 15,000 feet in the border areas. The Indian Defence Ministry is planning to expand competitive bidding for weapons procurement, to create a more level playing field for private firms, as currently, the majority of defence production contracts are secured by defence public sector undertakings often without a tendering process. The Zorawa light tank is nearing the final stages of its development trials, and will soon start Indian Army trials. India has issued a OTAM warning for a designated range of 415 km for a missile test in the Bay of Bengal, which could be the test of the Astra Mark III very long range beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. The Indian Navy has planned to retire its Shishu Mark class submarines from 2033 onwards. Collins Aerospace has inaugurated its new engineering development and test center in Bangalore. In a groundbreaking development, a high-level defense ministry committee has accepted the Indian Air Force's recommendation to potentially include fifth-generation fighter jets in the MRFA tender for 110 fighter jets, and this marks the first time India could see offers for fifth-generation platforms under the MRFA framework, with provisions for transfer of technology and establishment of a final assembly line in the country. Among all the contenders, Russia appears to be the only nation explicitly offering a fifth-generation fighter jet with technology transfer, for local manufacturing at HALS Nashik plant, utilizing the existing Su-30 equipment and infrastructure, that will also accelerate the AMCA program. Lockheed Martin has offered its F-35A under a government-to-government -government deal without local assembly, that is not under the MRFA's framework. After the entry of Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet in the MRFA competition, the CEO of French firm Dassault Aviation has announced that it is exploring the establishment of a final assembly line for its Rafale fighter jet in India. The Indian Air Force is mulling additional purchases to address its shortfall of nearly 200 jets, while the Indian Navy is finalizing a deal for 26 Rafale Marine, and these looming orders and export contracts from nations like Egypt, Qatar and the UAE, are pushing Dassault to scale up production. A media report has claimed, that even in the existing outdated inventory of second-generation ATGMs, the Army is short of approximately 50% of launchers and nearly 85% of missiles with respect to the total requirement. The report also claimed, that close to 100% of existing inventory is second generation, which is obsolete technology worldwide, while India's adversaries China and Pakistan have graduated to the third and fourth generation missiles. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, my God.